Everybody likes alcohols. Okay, let's name some. So, alcohols are basically an OH at the end of a, any given chain. So, this here is an ethyl is an alcohol. This is the one that gets you drunk. Okay, so let's name it because I assume most or lots of you already know the name. So, um, number the carbon chain one. Two. Okay, so if it was, it's a two. So if this were just um, an alkane, you'd call this ethane because it's an eth alcohol. You call this um, ethanol, which you all know what ethanol is. Now, you, would you call it one ethanol? Um, you could, although it doesn't really matter. Because if this were over here, on the 2, then you start numbering from the 2 and it would be 1 ethanol. So, ethanol and 1 ethanol are the same thing. 1 ethanol is a little bit redundant. Okay, so, let's get another one. Uh, let's make a little bit of a harder one. Okay, what is this? Alright, so as you've memorized, this group here is called a... This is a phenyl group. So instead of phenyl, this is going to be phenol. Well, because of the alcohol. So, really not that bad. A um, couple more examples. Before we get into a little bit harder alcohols. Oh, we have three of them now. Now what do I name it? Okay, so what do I name this? Let's start numbering it. So, one two, three, four, five. This case doesn't matter what side you start numbering from. So five, this is a pentane. However, it's not a pentane, it's a pentanol. But it's not just any pentanol, it's a tripentanol because there's three. And to distinguish it from other tripentanols, you number it. So you now go two, three, Four, not no 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 two comma three comma four two three four tripentanol. Um, it's better to name it. Actually, no no, no 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 You don't put the tri there. This is two three four pentan triol. Um, you don't name it at the front. You put it by the all. Um, another way you can can name this. I don't like naming it this way, so I don't normally, but you could call this pentan 234-triol, which I guess is, I actually think this way is more correct, but both ways are, I will get you the mark in this class, so I don't like this way. Okay, so that's what you call alcohols when they're the um, dominant group. But as we've already seen, um, the most dominant are carboxylic acids. So what do you do if you have a carboxylic acid here, and then you have a couple of alcohol groups hanging off of it? Okay, so um, let's number our chain like we always do. Remember, we always start from the carbonyl, not from this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
as we've seen from my last video, this is going to be some sort of a hex and noic acid. Okay, and then there's alcohols at three, four, and or sorry, two, four, and six. So what do we do then? Is this a hexan all hexan three, four, six triolloic acid? No, of course it isn't. That sounds retarded. Hex so keep the hexanoic acid. And instead of the all ending, so instead of dash all, you have hydroxy whatever. So instead of naming it like um, an alcohol like you did, you name it more as the same way you would a methyl group. So if this were a methyl, 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 you name this 2, th 4, 6, trimethyl, you're going to name this 2, 4, 6, trihydroxy. So, this is going to be exactly that. 2, 4, 6, trihydroxy, um, hexanoic acid. Okay, that's all there is to know about naming alcohols. Uh, which one will I do my next one on? I think I'll do my next one on ethers, but we'll see. Okay.